everybody. Hi, Drifty Dad. Teresa here with Drifty Dad. Hello. We have just started our Alaska cruise. It is about five o'clock in the evening. We just left Seattle in our way. Uh, there's another boat back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty far in the distance. There's another cruise ship following behind us. So we are on the Miss Amsterdam which is on the Holland America line and we are on our way to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll show you more of the boat and we'll show you uh, all the different places we go. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay folks this is our stateroom 3341 on the Miss Amsterdam. Come on inside. So this is a couple days into the trip. This is actually day number two or day number three, uh, we're on our way to Juno, so we didn't uh, think to take video before, so it's a, it's a little messy, we got our stuff around. Hey everybody, uh, so here's the desk, here's daddy, and I brought a little electrical thing, we got our laptop, uh, we got a little couch, a little seating area, and our beds. That's a picture of my mom. That's dad's little snack tray. He steals cookies from the buffet. And then we have our view. We are on deck three, which is the lower promenade deck. It's the deck that has the walking path. And we're underneath a lifeboat. But we can still see some great views. Right now we are uh, going through all the islands up to Juneau. We should be reaching Juneau about one in the afternoon. So this is our room. There's dad. Hi dad. Hi. You having a good trip? Wonderful trip. Yay. Recommend it to anybody. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Okay. This is the lower part of the atrium. This is on the third floor where our room is. So they got a couple officer offices here. Hello officer. And then this is the bottom of the big huge clock that they have in the atrium. And it goes all the way up. And you got the bells. Some cool cogs. That's all the planets and how they go around the sun and how many years it takes. This side has all the major cities of the world in the different time zones that they're in. What's on this side? Oh, it looks like more constellations. Pretty cool. So they got this staircase that goes up to the fourth floor, and then another staircase that goes up to the fifth floor. So this is the atrium. So it is day three. We are getting close to Juno. We are traveling through the islands. Uh, headed up to Juno. I think we're about an hour and a half away. Uh, the boat's been running about 20, 21 knots an hour. Uh, it's really nice. Here's some beautiful mountains. And look at the houses. Nestled in the trees. I've seen some waterfalls, we've seen some sailboats, fishermen, haven't seen any animals or wildlife yet. A couple of birds, but that's about it. So we're on our way. Alright folks, so we are approaching Juneau. Here's a little port city. That's 
a Norwegian boat there, and I think I see a prin couple princess boats over there. Uh, look at this. This must be Mount Roberts. Uh, and it's got a waterfall. That's gorgeous. Because I can see the Mount Roberts tram. You can see the tram station up there where you can ride a gondola up the mountain. It's having trouble focusing. Can you see the gondola up there? Anyway, we'll be on that later. So we're getting close to docking. I saw a bald eagle, but I didn't have my phone out in order to catch it. And I'm very excited to be close to civilization because I got phone service and I was able to uh, check my text messages and uh, post a couple pictures on Facebook. So I'll take more uh, video when we are in the town. Here's the Mount Roberts tram coming down. Just about to dock into the station. So we're going to take the tram up, 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 up the mountain. All right, Dad, we're on the Mount Roberts tramway. Cool. Cool. So we're about to go way up that mountain. Say goodbye to all the little people on the ground. Hi, everybody. Getting ready. Wonder what's in that pickle barrel. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand oh, by the doors. They will be closing. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> my name is Catalina, and I'm going to be your tram attendant today as we rise 1,800 vertical feet above sea level on Southeast Alaska's only aerial tramway system, owned and operated by Gold Belt Incorporated, a local native corporation. We've been in operation since August 10th, 1996. We run May through September, and you guys are visiting us on our 20th anniversary. So thank you for making history with us. Yay! In just a few seconds, we will begin our journey to Sha'ahit, which is a clinked word for the mountain house, where we will then unload onto our sky bridge. Currently, we're passing through an Alaskan temperate rainforest, mm -hmm. averaging 90 inches of rain per year, as well as 100 inches of snow. As you can tell from all this rainfall, that's our boat. As we pass over the mountain side, we will pass over three main types of trees, the red alder, the Sitka spruce, and the western hemlock. The red alder are the leafy green trees that you're seeing. The Native Americans use these trees to smoke salmon as well as a variety of other types of fish. Then we have the Sitka spruce, which is also our Alaska state tree. It looks like a typical Christmas tree, just missing the lights and ornaments. The Sitka spruce was used for medicinal purposes to treat things like toothaches, cough and cold, uh, skin irritation and boils. Uh, and then we have the western hemlock, which looks like the Sitka spruce, except the branches and the tops are droopy. The western hemlock was used to make spoons, combs, bowls and hooks, as well as using the inner part as a food source. The further up the mountain we go, you're gonna see a bunch of thread-like substance hanging off of the trees. That substance is called lichen. It is a fungus and algae that is only grown in unpolluted areas, so enjoy breathing in the nice clean air. In a couple moments, we'll be, we'll be coming to a complete stop on our sky bridge, which does have windows all around the perimeter for you to enjoy the panoramic view of Juneau, Alaska. All that we ask mm -hmm. is that you please do not put anything valuable outside of the windows, because if you drop them, they will become an artifact to be found at a later date. <laughs> Also, please do not lean over any of the yellow ramp rails or ropes. Are They're all there for your safety. Ears? At the end of the sky bridge ramp to your okay. left, you'll find the Raven Eagle Gibson Gallery, which has anything from a souvenir t-shirt to authentic native artwork, as well as access to our elevator. On the lower level, we have the Timberline Restaurant, which serves local seafood, like our striped shrimp, as well as our fresh oysters from cake. We also do serve locally brewed beer from the Alaska Brewery Company, Bear Creek Wines from Homer, and our signature dish of crab nachos and the judge's blueberry pie. Crab we nachos. We also do have a children and vegetarians menu. Across from the restaurant, we have the Chillcat Theater, which shows a complimentary award-winning film called Seeing Daylight, which is shown on the hour and half hour. If you would like to check out our Alaskan string band, they actually play on the half hour. So uh, if you want to catch the movie, it's on the hour. I totally forgot about all that good jazz. Oh 
<laughs> also underneath our stairs, folks, more. we have a man that can take your picture with fish, bears, eagles, and Sarah Palin, but I promise we don't keep her <laughs> under her <laughs> Palin. No, we don't keep Boo. her underneath our stairwell. <laughs> Outside of the double doors, you're going to find the Juno Raptor Center which takes care of a live bald eagle named Lady Baltimore. Due to her injury, she cannot be returned into the wild. And if you, uh, uh, sorry, if you <laughs> plan on visiting Lady Baltimore today, please turn the flash off on your cameras and keep your voices down to a minimum so you don't frighten her. If you plan on hiking with us, if you plan on hiking with us today, I would highly recommend stopping by the Nature Center who can give you great insight on our trails conditions as well as any awesome information you may want to know while hiking. In a couple seconds, we'll be coming to a complete stop onto our sky bridge. All four doors do open, so please stand clear of all four doors. We'll be exiting out of the two in front of me marked exit. If you have any questions while on the mountaintop, please feel free to ask any of the employees. We're all here to help contribute to your experience in Juneau, Alaska, as well as Mount Roberts Tramway. Thank you so much for coming, and hopefully you enjoy your time on the mountaintop. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, here I am in Juneau. Got my uh, TripAdvisor hat on. Um, here's my boat. I'm in Amsterdam, docked there here in Juneau. Uh, me and Dad did the tram. I'll post video of that. Uh, we had dinner at the top of Mount Roberts. Um, that was cool. We walked around the town, did a little shopping. I got a bunch of chocolate from the Alaska Fudge Company. Um, and now I'm actually waiting to visit a friend, uh, somebody who I know who lives in Juneau. We met on uh, TripAdvisor <laughs> many years ago, and she's one of my buddies that I see in Las Vegas a couple times a year. She's been down to Seattle and stuff too, so I'm just kind of hanging out at the pier. Dad is back on uh, the boat taking a nap. It's been a long, fun day, but he's a very tired boy. So, uh, unfortunately, I did not get to the Salvation Army. I will not get there before it closes. And um, we've only got a couple hours here before I got to be back on the boat anyway. Um, slightly disappointed at that, but it's not, you know, I'm, I'm here for pleasure, not business. But, uh, you know, I would really like to go to this store. <laughs> So maybe we'll see if we can make it to the, there's a Salvation Army in Ketchikan and there's also one in Sitco, which is our next stops. Tomorrow we are going to the Hubbard Glacier and uh, doing the viewing and cruising around the glacier area. So I will update you again later. 